Hey, I'm Charting Man Dan. If you like this video, I encourage you to check out our website, thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis, learning, and education, where we broadcast live market coverage every morning, provide live chart consultation, and point out key levels on your favorite plays in our community chat room. Why not check out our free trial and join the best technical analysis community online? Looking at SPY on the daily and weekly time frame, we are pulling back lower high, lower low. We saw that spike in bearish volume yesterday. Go back and look at my video I did on SPY. 30 minutes of high volume for the bears came out of nowhere and that was unlike anything we've seen in the past few weeks. So that was a big red flag for me, looking for some continuation for the bears today and we got it. And now we are at key support. So we have the eight period exponential and the 10 period simple moving average. We are watching those key levels as they have held for the entire uptrend here. So what I am anticipating to happen we can see that we bounced off these levels, as I said, multiple times. So we are going to see some potential people looking to buy the dip and continue to the upside. If we zoom out and look at the weekly chart, which I'll do in a minute, that has me thinking that that is not going to be a good idea here. So we have those key supports. I'm looking for short term upside, a bounce off of those moving averages, perhaps another move back into the 204s. I'm looking for a lower high to be set compared to 205.23 and then a loss of those moving average supports and a pullback for the near-term, mid-term future. So some signals here, I've been pointing them out in the videos for weeks, but just in case you haven't been watching, we've got 70 RSI, this is the bounce from October. Hit 70 RSI, that was our top. We just hit 70 RSI yesterday, we are now pulling back from that level. Let's look at the weekly chart. Bearish reversal candlestick is forming, this is the sixth week of the bounce. Bounce in October lasted six weeks. Upper wick showing profit taking. Upper wick showing profit taking. We're looking for a lower low. We have seen higher lows for the entire bounce, just as we did back in October. And then once we saw that lower low, there was a dump. So we aren't very far above the low of the week, which happened today at 20301. We have one more day tomorrow. Again, I anticipate potentially a little upside tomorrow looking back at that 204 level. But when we enter next week, it's not going to take much of a pullback to hit a lower low, and that will be an indication for the bears. Flashing over to gold, just because it's a similar setup, I've been bearish on gold, moderately bearish, for the past couple of weeks, and this right here was the indication. We had 10 weeks of higher lows. Last week, not a very bearish candlestick, more of indecision, but the fact that we broke a lower low for the first time in 10 weeks was a big red flag for the bulls. And then we see that follow through this week. So looking at a similar setup, higher lows the entire bounce, and we'll see if our, we get our first lower low next week. So that's what we're looking at for SPY. Summary real quick, again, looking for some short-term upside to bounce and hold these supports, lower high to be set, and then a loss of those supports. We'll see how it plays out. Thechartguys.com is the website. Been a lot of fun the past couple of days in the chat room. Come check it out for a free week, no credit card required. We've got live interactive webcam during trading, educational videos, and a chat community that I have not seen anywhere else. This quality and the camaraderie, everybody having the same goals. Come check it out for a free week. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.